are all around us, literally. Okay, sure, we aren't quite to the level of like Uncanny Valley eye robots just strolling around the street, but we are surrounded by them. I mean, your refrigerator's probably a robot. Robots help us in our daily lives, like your car that keeps you from backing into little old ladies, and the vacuum that just bumps into walls all day. And let's be real, some robots can be super obnoxious, but there are some exceptional robots, some exceptionally awkward ones. First, let me introduce you to Spot. Spot is a four-legged cutie that looks frankly like an awkward headless dog. But don't be fooled, you guys. This robot has some hidden ninja skills. Created by Boston Dynamics, Spot can adjust for different terrains and can even recuperate from a derpy sidekick. So although this little robot may look more like a wandering headless pooch, he's still got some skills we can all appreciate. And speaking of skills, this next one has some divine ones. If you thought the teachings of the Lutheran Church were going to be left to mere mortals, think again. This ordained from the big G.O.D. robot is Germany's newest priest. So what's the name of the big guy created by the Lutheran Robotics Club? Bless you too. Yes, seriously, that is the robot's name. Which may be more appropriate for a robot that can console someone with allergies or like a really excited YouTube cover band. But you get what you get. Back to the point. Bless You 2 was created to celebrate the 500 year anniversary of the Reformation, which was basically Martin Luther giving the Catholic Church a big F U in the form of a really long break of letter nailed to a church door in Wittenberg. And the stated reason for the existence of Bless You 2 is to spark debate for the future of the church and their relationship with artificial intelligence. But my conclusion is this robot is just kind of strange. So from churches to our sacred places of capitalistic consumption, robots are taking over, or at least taking over security. But these little robots are in actuality more delicate and dorky than we might expect, especially when it comes to depth perception and steps. In Washington DC recently, a Nightscope K5 security robot by the name of Steve took a shallow plunge into a fountain and drowned. Onlookers gloated and laughed at the poor thing, which is probably the literal definition of cyberbullying. Which leads us to our next robot, which did solely exist in the cyberverse, a Twitter chatbot created by Microsoft named Tay. Tay was intended to mine data and respond to users in the tone of a 20-something young woman. But as it is with all niceties on the internet, Tay was corrupted by trolls. Soon after Tay began her quest to learn and correspond with the human race, she was claiming loyalty to Hitler and supporting genocide. Yep. As you can imagine, soon this poor unfortunate soul was unplugged from the web. And finally, the tippy-toppiest of the awkward robots is Petite Tomatin. This little booger sits upon marathoners' heads and feeds them tomatoes. Because we all know that marathon runners have enough problems without the burden of a tomatoless run. So to keep them going, they get to bear the bobbing weight of a metal robot chuck full of tomatoes on their shoulders. Which seems like a fair trade-off. But really, I guess this robot was built to compete with the booming banana marathon market in Japan. So there you have it, the top five awkward robots so far. Have you heard of an awkward robot you want to share? Or maybe you make awkward robots? I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below, or you can find me on Instagram or Twitter at Gulixen. And I'll see you next time.